Mr. Kazi here, and we're going to talk about the microscope today. So everyone, get out a piece of paper and a pencil, get out your diagram of the microscope, but let's learn the parts of the microscope. All right, let's get started. Here's a typical microscope. It's a compound microscope, and the history of the microscope goes way back. And it's one of the probably greatest inventions of all time. As a matter of fact, it's number two in modern science. It's the number two greatest discovery in modern science. Second only to the scientific method itself. All right, the parts of the microscope. First of all, number one is the eyepiece. Number two is the nose piece, and this revolves and has the objectives on it arm we always carry it by the arm and under the base the objective lens the stage the light source the base the course adjustment the fine adjustment and the stage clips all right make sure you know all those parts here's for the proper use and the care and feeding of microscopes Remember, microscopes are expensive scientific instruments. Handle them properly and they will last for many years. Rule number one. When moving your microscope, you need to always use both hands. You want to carry by the arm with one hand and put the other hand under the base for support. No running or jostling with the microscopes. Be very careful with them. We don't want to break anything unnecessarily. Rule number two, turn the revolving nose piece so the lowest power objective lens is clicked into position. Now that's kind of assuming that you've already taken the dust cover off and unwound the cord and plugged it in. Now, rule number three, place the microscope slide on the stage and fasten it with the stage clips. Rule number four, use the course adjustment to lower the objective or raise the stage, depending on what kind of microscope you have. And then look at the slide and the lenses from the side when doing this. Don't be looking through the microscope's eyepiece when you're doing this. Look at the side and make sure that you're bringing it up and, down and you're not going to get the lenses too close to the slide. That really usually isn't a problem with the lower objectives, but still, good habit to be in. Rule number five, look through the eyepiece and adjust the light source and diaphragm for the best amount of light. Also, while you're doing that, remember to uh, try and keep both eyes open when you're looking through the uh, eyepiece. It helps to avoid eye strain. Slowly turn the course adjustment so that the objective lens moves away from the slide or the stage moves up depending on the type of uh, microscope you have. Continue until the image comes into focus. Once it's in focus, use the fine adjustment, if you have one, uh, for focusing. And this will get it even clearer and in better focus. Rule number seven, when you're finished, now to me, when you're finished means that you've looked at all the assigned slides and that you've drawn a picture for every slide. It's important that we remember to get drawing paper specially uh, made drawing paper that I have for your microscope drawings and that you draw a picture of everything you do. Remember, whenever we get the microscopes out, we always make pictures. And sometimes it might be doing something on low and high power. And sometimes it just can be that you're doing three or four different uh, specimens. So when you're finished, remove the slide, return to low power, roll up the cord, replace the dust cover, and put it back where you got it. Very important to always make sure you take the slides off and very important to make sure that you turn the microscope off. All right, if you have any questions, send an email to Mr. Kazi at mrkazi.com and don't forget to check out mrkazi.com where I have PowerPoint videos and much, much more. All you have to do is go to mrkazi.com, look over to the right-hand side, and click on biology or chemistry or physics, whatever you're looking for. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. 
I understand that the studies have shown that it increases your IQ to visit MrKazi.com and his YouTube channel. Happy Ions. <laughs>